What's up guys? Today I'm going to do a review on the CTAS Pro High from Converse. This is my second favorite shoe to skate in right now. I've had these for about a year. I haven't been skating in them that long. I actually did a video on uh, the regular Chuck Taylors for skateboarding on this channel and then I did a review on the Chuck 2. The Chuck 2 is kind of similar to the CTAS Pro High except the actual Pro High skate shoe from Converse is suede and the Chuck 2 is still canvas. So at this point, everybody that's watching this video probably knows that Nike owns Converse. Uh, but before I say anything else, I want you to listen to how British people say Converse. Most popular by Converse. Watch this video and get inspired. Number two, another great product by Converse. So I really like what Nike is doing with the suede on these shoes. It's really similar to the suede they put on their Hyperfeel shoes. So anyone that tells you that a toe cap is not going to affect your flick at all is lying to you because doing a kickflip in these shoes is so much different than doing a kickflip in some suede shoes with a pointed toe. It just feels completely different. I'm not going to say that it's worse or better for doing a kickflip, but it is totally different. You have to get used to your flip tricks in Chuck Taylors and that's not going to take a long time. You know, if it's thin, there's good board feel in these shoes, so it's not gonna take a lot of time to get used to, but you are gonna have to get used to it because it does feel different. If you switch back and forth the same day between regular skate shoes and skate shoes that have a toe cap, you will notice the difference. It's so different that I'm actually thinking about doing a video about how to kick flip in Chuck Taylors. I hurt my toe really bad skating the other day in regular skate shoes, and this was the only shoe I could wear that didn't hurt because it had that hard toe cap. I could actually do Casper stalls and stuff like that without my toe hurting. That toe cap really does help protect your toenails and protect your feet um, You know when your board hits you in the toe. The fact that this is such a thin low shoe makes it really hard to sprain your ankle. So I have ankle problems sometimes, so this is a really good shoe for me. This and some of those Hyperfeel shoes from Nike are so thin. The actual sole of the shoe is so thin and if you take that Lunar Line insole out and put some footprint insoles in, some thin ones, the sole is thin and it's also really grippy. It works well with DKL non-abrasive grip tape. It works well with regular grip tape. I'm a little bit hesitant about skating these shoes with really aggressive grip tape because they are thin and they could rip pretty quick. The suede is good, it hasn't ripped on me yet, but I'm always a little bit hesitant about skating really aggressive grip tape with these shoes. These shoes run big. I think most skateboarders have owned a pair of Chuck Taylors in their life because most skateboarders are kind of alternative and they might be into music and stuff like that and you know, they probably bought Chuck Taylors, but you know, they do run big. So buy them a little bit half size to full size smaller than you would normally buy in, you know, regular Nike shoes or other skate shoes. So they do run a little big. You might want to get a half size to a full size smaller than you would get in a normal skate shoe. If you do get these and they are too big for you, then they could be worse uh, when it comes to spraining your ankle. I've seen people wear Chuck Taylors that were too big for them and they fall, get that toe cap caught on the ground and just really sprain their ankle. I really like these shoes. This is my winter shoe. It seems like every winter, whenever it gets cold, I go to Chuck Taylors because it's actually the warmest shoe I have in my skate shoe collection. Most of my shoes are low top, they're really thin. And this shoe, it's still thin, but it's high top. It's got the toe cap and it's a little bit warmer, especially the suede version. So it is my go-to winter shoe. So as far as looks goes, you can't go wrong with buying a shoe that looks like this because it's the best selling shoe of all time. It's that classic look. Of course they look cool. 
The best thing about this shoe for me, skating mini ramp or just street skating, just cruising around, skating in this shoe is so fun. The worst thing about this shoe is the flip tricks, getting used to the flip tricks. But once you get used to this shoe, it's hard to get used to other shoes. So all around, I think this is a great shoe. I love these shoes. It's my second favorite skate shoe right now. So I think you should check them out. So if you're interested in this shoe, I would say go for it. It's a great shoe. You can't go wrong with this classic shoe. Go to Converse's website. They probably got a sale going on on this shoe. If you guys like this kind of content, reviews, tutorials, and videos about what I'm learning as I grow as a skateboarder, then hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.